All right, on this video, I'm going to show you how to place a trade. Um, so I've got, I'm on the NQ um, June contract right now of 2021. Got my SIM 101 account selected. And I selected my one contract 15 ticks ATM strategy that I've got set up. So you can <clears throat> say if you wanted to buy, Let's say I wanted to buy down here at uh, 13740. I have just move my cursor around. I got to have it selected, crosshair selected. I always use the local one. Um, it defaults to this, to it being off. So you gotta turn on the crosshair. So you come down, let's say I wanna put it at 740. So I've got my cursor there. You can see on the right, I've got my cursor on the chart. You can see on the right where the price is. So it changes when I go up and down. So I go to 740. I'm going to right click. So 13740. And there's four options here. There's buy limit one. There's buy MIT, which means market if touched. So if it touches that price, it'll fill whatever the, the current market price is. So if it changes quickly, you wouldn't get filled at exactly that price. Sell stop market. Um, so if it reaches 740, it would sell. Um, so that'd be if I think it's gonna continue going down if it gets to that spot. And there's sell stop limit. That means um, I wanna get filled at that at the 740 on sale, I don't want to get um, any less than that. So the stop market will fill you at the whatever the market price is. So if it moves um, quickly, you may have somewhat what's called slippage. It might get filled at 13,739 or 739.25 or 0.50. Um, so but I want to buy, so I'm going to go click on the buy. So now I've got a buy order in at 13,740. I can grab these orders on my chart and move them around anywhere I want to. So let's say, change my mind, I wanna buy till it gets to 720, and move it down there, put it anywhere. So you click on it once, you move it, and you click it again, and it's um, wherever you move it to. Let's say I just wanna get in the trade, I'm gonna move it up to the current price or above current price, click on it, it's in the trade. So now I've got a, the way this ATM strategy is set up, I've got a target 15 ticks above, and I've got a stop loss 15 ticks below. So it fits. So ticks are worth $5 on the NASDAQ. So if it goes up 15 ticks, it's my target. I make 75, or if it goes down 15 ticks, I lose 75, currently going up. So I just like the buy order that I placed. You can also grab these orders and move them around. Let's just say I want to be sure I don't lose on this trade. I want to move it up to like break even. Um, I think that's about break even. So I can comes back down, hits my stop. I don't make anything. I don't lose anything. Keeps going up. It's at sixty dollars right now. It's at seventy dollars. Goes up another. It's a small amount there. It would build the target, and I'm up seventy five dollars. So if I wanted to sell, like this looks like it might be a good place to sell. Right click, sell limit. So if you're above price. Your menu is going to be a little bit different depending on if you're above or below price. So if you're above price and you right click, you got sell limit, sell market, if touched, buy, stop market, buy, stop limit. So it's just exactly the opposite of below price. So if it gets up to this price, 13850 and a half, I'm going to sell it at that price. Market if touch, it'll just fill up the market if it touches that price. 
so buy stop I would I'm saying if I think it, if, if it gets up to that price I think it's going to keep going up um, is why I would use buy stop market so let's say there's all this supply area here if it goes up above there say 90, 95 96 area let's see I can get it on 96.25 right now so let's just put it there so I can put in a buy stop market if I don't want it there let's say I actually want to sell I put the right click and put the sell limit up here at 13, 846, 175 right now. So that is how you place orders, how you manage orders um, once they're in. So you, you just grab them, again, click on it once. If you need to move it, you can move it all around without, you don't have to hold your mouse down. You just click once and then move it around, get it to where you want it, click again. Um, to close this order, I could click that X right there. I could click the close button. You also got a few buttons over here. Um, I don't normally use these very much, but every once in a while in the trade room, um, I believe it's uh, just going to move quickly in one direction. I may buy buy or sell market so I just click on it and on the buy market it'll immediately get me in at whatever the price is sell market same thing if you got your atm strategy so strategy selected when you click on the button then it'll work um, as well just the same as if you're trading on the chart and that is how you place orders